Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to my show Camera Tuesday. In today's episode, we're going to take a closer look at Serial Digital Interface, a very crucial piece of equipment for any uh, person dealing with cameras. So first you have to understand, most of you know about HDMI output. Now, okay, HDMI is quite useful, you have been using it, you have been running video recorder out of it, then what's the problem? It works, it's available, then what's the problem? Now first thing you have to understand, HDMI is very complex, it's what we call as if I as uh, high definition multimedia interface, it's very complex, it has a lot of uh, channels and data points. Now that also means it requires what we call handshake, basically your receiver or HDMI output must talk with the receiving end, whatever it may be, be a TV, be a console, and uh, come up with a conclusion that we're gonna work together. If it does not, you can have a scenario where you have perfectly working PlayStation, you can have a scenario where you have perfectly working TV, but both of them may not work because they will say, this contest requires HDCP for playback, HDCP is not supported with, by your HDMI connection, the content requires a different version and all that. So because of that handshake, that adds an extra layer of complexity that you can have a scenario where it's uh, expected something another than what your uh, data point is sending so this is very complex and the handshake is very unreliable now the cable itself the whatever it's carrying the data is very complex now in terms of complexity you don't care about it but you care about the cost it is very very expensive and uh, on top of that even though the ca cable is expensive, it does not mean it can run for very long basically you cannot have a scenario where okay i'm gonna have a camera let's say one end of a stadium and uh, record on the other end yeah that's not happening so that's also an issue on top of that it does not have a locking mechanism so basically you put it in a camera and that's it minor tuck can pull it out now you might be like i can do this or that here's the deal you should not need to do that so this creates a problem even though we have three interfaces where you have full hdmi micro uh, mini hdmi and micro hdmi the fact that it requires freaking 19 cables like if you think ethernet cables are complex try opening these up so these have 19 cables or independent cable running through it it's very complex it does not run for very long distances and it does not have a locking mechanism so basically it can be pulled out even with a minor snug and on top of that it is a consumer grade product so it has a lot of copyright production but does not have many other things that people would want so this is the problem it does not run for very long it's very expensive it does not have a locking mechanism and it's a consumer grade. it breaks way too easily so these are the problem with hdmi that's why we needed something better now then sti basically serial digital interface comes to our rescue now you have to understand sdi is much older than hdmi it has been in production for very very long time and it's basically people who are doing broadcasting basically TV, tv news channel or things of that nature they come up with this and uh, professional it's like every aspect of it from the cable to connector to data uh, interface to protocols everything is built with professional in mind now what does that translate to like what does that mean basically if you have seen this sort of cable that uh, old cable tv that you used to have or even this itself is what's connecting your dish tv to your uh, uh, basically setup box so this is what we call coaxial cable now this is very cheap this you can buy like a for cost of a 10 foot of hdmi cable you can buy 100 foot feet of this so understand this is ludicrously cheap this is inherently cheap simple uh, widely accessible so that makes a very big difference the cable is cheap for long runs and on top of that this also comes with what we call bnc connector now this connector can be found with other things also but this is a locking connector you put it in rotate it now it will not come off now of course unless you like yank it it's just that it gives you a peace of mind that accidentally it won't come off like if it comes off that means either somebody unlocked it and then pulled it off or somebody applied excessive force so that gives you an extra peace of mind that it's locked and there is no handshake requirement because this equipment is a professional equipment you can have a scenario where you have freaking 10 cameras 20 recorder systems 50 uh, broadcasting setups you can have that like if you've seen any live uh, cricket match you must know like there are many uh, channels that are doing any uh, like you know uh, reading data from the same camera view how the heck that can happen because of sti and it is make it yourself basically let's say you have a scenario let's say you 
uh, created a studio and you're like hey i need 40 feet of cable but let's say the nearest size that is available that is 50 feet 10 feet of extra wire would be a mess for you let's say you want a clean elegance you can make it yourself this cable this port all these are available and they are cheap also and i have provided the link down below how people make the cable themselves uh, ideally in the starting i would urge you to uh, buy them but once you get uh, experienced enough you can build it yourself like it's much easier than what we call uh, ethernet if you can make ethernet port this is also easy so understand and if you see a broadcaster like this where you have a cameraman it has like freaking four bnc connector you must understand there are many reasons for this there are layers upon layers of redundancy also so even if one cable pulls off you're, uh, you, you won't even know anything and even if like let's say three falls off it will still work so every aspect of it is built uh, with a professional in mind so that's the SDI aspect it has a locking system it is very cheap and it is uh, it does not have any technical hoo-ha it, it does not require handshake it just works there is no encryption in this so understand it. if somebody is transmitting let's say a uh, video over this do not expect any encryption on that so then question becomes okay it's a bit better than HDMI then what can it uh, do that only this can do not HDMI you have to understand this allows camera control now this is unique even though in principle HDMI should be able to do that nobody has done it yet however STI from day one was built for that because many times you have what we call uh, the control room where people are there and you have cameraman and you have a studio now cameraman is only there to rotate the camera it's not there to do anything other than that it's not even there to focus Focus it so either there will be autofocus or there will be a fo independent focus puller whose job would be just to do the focusing so who controls the white balance who controls the shutter who controls the uh, gain setting basically ISO for them or uh, whatever you need to do or who directs the cameraman hey you need to focus on this uh, contestant or you need to focus on this uh, judge where, where you have light life setup that can be done using these puppies and on top of that it allows you camera control it has feedback to the operator basically you can have uh, basically headset and you can do talk back this is what we call talk back and then this also allows for what we call video switches like if you try to uh, make mix 5 to 10 uh, audio system you buy audio mixer for video that is the same you buy video mixer like this now here's the deal you can't have video mixer that has like freaking uh, 20 wires per port it simply would not work so STI because it inherently only has one cable it you can have a scenario like this Sony uh, example that I'm going, giving you video mixer it has 30 input you can like feed in 30 cameras into this and it's not that it's only limited to broadcast industry it's also used by movie industry as you can see this is alexa mini uh, from ari and uh, this is black magic all of them also use it so you can see in black magic case because they have a lot more control with the software they can allow you much fine-tuned control basically you have you can use this as a webcam have the sti come into your computer and control everything about the camera how the image looks how the how is the sharpness how is everything you can control that very thoroughly very easily while the camera is recording there is no hoo-ha there while the camera is recording it, you, it will allow you to change everything and if you have a focus puller basically in your lens it will allow you to if you have a focus motor that allows you to zoom also basically change your millimeter it will allow you to do that using SDI itself now these things haven't been done with HDMI as of now you can't go and buy a HDMI system that will allow you to do that even though HDMI has 20 pins even though it's built as an interface not that as output or input it cannot do that it wasn't like you know built that way so this uh, this is why people use SDI like there are certain things only SDI can do you cannot talk to your cameraman using HDMI you can talk with this you can't buy a system where you have like 30 or 40 HDMI inputs that's just simply not there and uh, be mindful there are standards of this also even though cable will remain the same the standards will change basically how we went from SATA to SATA 2 to SATA 3 it's like that and but of course you need higher quality cable basically if the cable is very impure what we call uh, oxidized cable the quality of connection would be very weak so you have uh, basically old SDI which used to be used in very old days then we have HD SDI then we, we got if you want good quality video you must go to 3G 
3G simply specifies how many gigabytes per second, small b. Then you have 6G if you want 4K. 4K 30 frame per second, you must have 6G. Now, if you want 4K 60 frame per second, you must have 12G. Now, 12G is a bit rare as of now, is not every camera has that. Even the black magic that I'm showing you, even though it can transfer using SDI, it can only do 4K 30 frame per second. Now, you can buy a handy cam, a professional uh, camera equipment that can do basically 12G SDI. So this is what it is. Basically, if you are in a production environment like a TV studio or Big Boss or things of that nature, even in Big Boss or Big Brother in your country, uh, they have cameras, right? That can pan, tilt, zoom and all that. That is only happening because of uh, SDI. Because people, you might think it can be done over Ethernet and Ethernet has the benefit of what we call power over Ethernet. So you have only one cable. The problem is Ethernet does not have enough bandwidth. These puppy, basically SDI is, has enough bandwidth to do that. So this is why we use it. This is why your Red Epic to your Canon C200 to freaking uh, Alexa Mini to like broadcast cameras to Blackmagic, everybody has SDI. SDI is a whole different level of thing. In production, you can't uh, bypass this. In, if you want to do live telecast and you want to do it reliably without, you know, pulling your hair out. And if you have multi-camera setup, SDI is the only option. If you try to do this with four cameras using HDMI, it's not that you can't do that or there is no equipment. It's just you're going to pull your hair out. So uh, this is amazing, then is there any consequence there? Uh, absolutely. Now the first consequence is because it's not mass, uh, you know, marketed to the large audience, it's never cheap. Like HDMI is cheap simply because it's mass produced. Even though it's more expensive, it's just produced in billions where you have uh, SDI equipments that are produced in hundreds of thousands. So that's why there is uh, inherent cost to it. Now, there are multiple generations as I already told you, but that creates a consequence where you can have a scenario where the 12G SDI that you can buy that is the highest right now it cannot transmit 8k and you must be familiar with the fact that uh, there are many 8k film cameras so how the heck you gonna transmit over that now the biggest problem with sdi it's basically half stop if you are working in a home studio and you're like H hdmi is more than uh, capable of handling your distance but if you are doing a newsroom uh, sdi can take care of it now imagine doing that in a football stadium your cable run can be very easily reach upwards of one or two kilometers simply because you will have like multiple routes multiple paths things are uh, things can get complicated so in those sort of scenario sdi creates a problem where even though it can go very far it cannot go far enough so in the future not in the future as in like in the uh, 100 years from now right now already you can buy pl uh, places and equipments and people who are doing this is basically they're converting sti into fiber because fiber inherently without any boosting without anything just you have fiber coming out from this going to another fiber receiver you can easily on a normal fiber cable not something super fancy you can easily do 5 to 10 kilometers that is more than enough that is like you can handle like entire uh, nasa building you can do that or the boeing building that is so huge it it has clouds of its own in those sort of environment optical will by uh, replace it and as of now because the 24 basically right now i told you that 12g is the highest standard uh, some people are already working on 12g standard but fiber already solves all those problems because fiber can be changed much more easily and it is much more commercial product so sooner or later fiber will replace this now even though uh, you know, you, you can do so many things like video, audio, talk back, tally light. Now, if you have seen any kind of uh, news anchoring show, how do you think uh, the anchors know where to look? Basically, every camera has a light, red bulb, big red bulb, that tells them uh, it's on or not. So that is what we call tally light. Basically, uh, the control room will send a signal. Okay, this camera will be on. So the first signal will come to the cameraman and he will point it out. It's like, okay, I'm ready. Then the signal will come on top of a blinking signal. Uh, that blinking signal will notify the basically whoever is looking. It's like let's say camera is there, that will start blinking. I'm like okay, now I have to look there. The moment I look there, the cameraman will either will trigger it or the person sitting in the control room will trigger it. Then you have gain, basically ISO. Then you have details, basically how much sharpness you have. Shutter, of course, uh, like if person starts to do move a lot of action, they will change the shutter speed. Zoom, that that is an advanced function, not available in every lens. Focus, obviously. And then you have iris, basically aperture. And then you have pedestal. 
this is advanced function that I do not color balance obviously contrast hue saturation everything can be controlled independently however it does come with a consequence even though all these things can be done you need two independent cable it's not that one big cable is there you need two independent cable to do this STI is just uh, basically it has a pathway kind of structure you have input and output so that's why every camera that is good enough will always have STI in and STI out now on top of that because it was built for broadcast industry it was not built for quality it was built for redundancy it was built for like a quick operation but it was not built for quality so that created a problem that right now as i talk to you the common standard is 422 not 444 not uh, like you know uh, 12 bit you can't do that like you can't do 4444 even though there are many cameras right now uh, including black magic cameras including red apex and alexa mary that can do 4444 for basically 12 bit recording you can't transmit that using STI it's not built for that because in uh, in in broadcasting industry there is no need for that like a good 4k video recording that you can do with uh, 420 which is basically YouTube is more than good enough and you have to understand even if let's say they are doing camera work it will be compressed once it goes to the satellite once it goes to the distribution network so uh, there is no point in them to build something like you know amazing so that is why in future this will be replaced with optical and optical has much more leeway so this was my presentation on SDI. I hope you liked it or learned from it. In that case, please leave a like. Click the ad shown in this video. That will directly help me. If you didn't like it, don't worry about it. You can press dislike button twice to show me your extra disappointment. And I would urge you to leave a comment because I reply to all of them. Please subscribe. Press the bell icon if you are free. And as always, thanks for watching.